Hello everyone, I'm back today with uh, Rex's Celestial Stasis against Otabo's Twisted Fate. Alright, starting off with Rex's team, we have Orion the Time Mage, Ursus the Oracle, Polaris the Chemist, Enet Nuadaya the Geomancer, is that right? I don't know. Um, well, let's start off with the Geomancer since we're here. He is going to do a lot of damage with a jump. If I calculate correctly, it's around, it's like 290 before looking at Fury, assuming Fury is a thing. Assuming Fury affects jump, I mean. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Um, it's also his main form of offense for the most part, I believe. Um, kind of iffy on the elemental, uh, just because it's another ranged thing to compete with jump. Um, but it could be useful for picking off, you know, like, Phoenix down. Uh, we shall see how that plays out. Uh, so that's Chemist. Item bot. You know, meant to be tough to deal with due to unyielding. Um, yeah, Ramondagon. She's got, um, Seal Evil and Arm Aim. And, you know, Ramondagon, 8 range. Pretty nice. Pretty commonly used setup, uh, I think. Uh, Oracle, uh, support. You know, with the white magic and you need some yin yang stuff to disrupt, as per usual. Short charge to make sure she gets her things down quickly and on time to disrupt. Um, time mage? Pretty similar. I mean, time magic, yin yang magic, all status stuff. Um, does have haste too for for the team, but then everything else is more offensively oriented. Um, these two? They are super anti magic and like anti elements in general. I mean, look at that. Thief hat, white robes, the timeson. They are. Yeah, <laughs> they are very immune to magic and elemental stuff. Um, I really, I, I like the Thief Hat White Rope thing. That's definitely something I have used and probably will use in the future. It's a nice setup. Um, they're a very status heavy based team. Um, slightly questionable call is, I believe, I'm pretty sure it's the Oracle who has Blind Rage. Because um, Berserk could fire, could backfire, seeing how not terribly. I'm very anti-magic, but not terribly anti-physical. I mean, I mean the church and uh, you know, forty fury, but it's not enough. Um, conveniently, it's not going to backfire against Otabo's team because, as we shall see, it's not very um, physically offense-oriented. Um, and yeah, let's move on to Otabo's team. We have Logos the Thief, Liblanc the Thief, Ormi the Paladin, and Femgun the Monk. So. This game is super late game oriented. We have um, two users with Phoenix Blade and a Cursed Ring, you know, Dance, uh, Witch Hunt, and Disillusion. Because magic does seem to be, or at least people think magic is uh, stronger than physical attacks. And it, it might be, I'm not, I don't have a strong opinion on that. Um, again, Sing for. Pretty cool. Uh, he knows Last Song. Which is helpful given how slow these guys are, courtesy of the Phoenix Blade. Um, and Magic Song helps with the, um, their respective secondaries, draw and talk skill, and Angel Song to make sure everyone has MP to do stuff. The Thieves? Pretty pretty cool um, decisions that Otavo makes here, I really like it. Um, we have Jade Armlet to prevent against Petrify, and maybe some other stuff, but I know at, least for li at the very least Petrify, because these two due to Genji armor move equals zero, they can't move. So these two are essentially on their own. And of course, they have Phoenix Blade so they can keep coming back, but Petrify would be a huge problem as he has no good way to get rid of them, to heal Petrify. So making sure that they will stay, that they won't be Petrified, so if they were to go down, it'd be by dying and the Phoenix Blade brings them back, etc. Similarly, maintenance helps with that goal. Uh, if the Phoenix Blade were to be broken, that'd be very bad. Again, no real forms of revival, no real means to revive them. And so yeah, it's a very smart choice given how like essential these two thieves are um, for Otabo's team. Um, I guess the main question is how durable these units actually are, because again, uh, Otabo wants to get to the late game, but and Genji armor helps with the you know the protection shell, uh, and, you know forty brave forty fury. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure. Uh, it won't matter too much against. Um, Rex's team, I don't think, because Rex's team isn't super offense oriented. Although, again, that the jumping geomancer is going to hurt a lot. Um. All right, yeah. Let's see how this plays out. Um, I did do RNG beforehand, so we're going to map number seventy-eight. 
Um, the draw on the female thief is a bit questionable, um, just because of the low MA, but again, late game, right? She does have MA save, there is Magic Song, so eventually she'll be a problem. And Thieves do have Quickening, of course with slow it takes every two twos of Quickening to get one effective extra point of speed. We shall see how this plays out. Uh, not sure how, which, how relevant Witch Hunt will be. Yeah, honestly, that um, a Papa's Monk might not do much, because Witch Hunt, um, the two magic users do have move MP up, but oh well, eh. Witch Hunt is fast, we'll see. In Dissolution, again, their status, uh, the shells are status based, so it's not, MA isn't super important. I also have a phone call, excuse me. Is this weird? Yes, sorry about that. And back to the match. Oracle's taking- oh, that's because I'm supposed to hit end, haha, <laughs> okay. I don't know why the Oracle's taking a while. You know, sometimes the AI does randomly take longer than normal. Um, maybe you guys have noticed that sometimes when playing single player or something. I don't think it's happened too much in Arena. Um, and you're just gonna get rid of the poison. That could be really annoying. Um, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of the. Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, the map's fine, I think. I mean, the whole poison and the awkward movement is kind of annoying at times, but it's like. Eh, 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 eh. That's fine. Not too big of a deal, I don't think. Anyways, I'm just going for a paralyze. It's kind of like <laughs> like a lottery or a roulette thing of what the oracle will cast, of what the time age will cast. Will it be slow too? Will it be stop? Will it be zombie? Will it be sleep? Will it be paralyzed? You never know. Um, hey, which one continue to be annoying? The oracle casts something that I missed. Um, oh dear, right for fairly inconsequential damage. And yeah, hell I'd be like, that's so much worse than a jump. It's a lot worse than a jump. Um, don't act on the slowed unit conveniently is like, well, it's convenient because, um, oh, here's a berserk. Um, because, um, they're slow. It takes them a while to get their turns. And so they will probably only miss like one turn before don't act wears off. Um, and conversely, if you put on a very fast unit, um, then they'll... They have a lot of turns to run the F away, and be separated from the team, which could be bad, and etc. Um, high Aether, as long as, along with Move MP, I'm doing a good job of making sure the mages have plenty of MP, despite the, um... The Witch Hunt, and ooh, quick! Last song, cool. I, I, I rather like Last Song. Just because it can do... You can do cool things. Um... Maybe I'll record a bit of two sword proc funsies, because there's some fun stuff I've got going on there. Sort of. Ish. Yeah, I mean, la yeah, last song quick, free turns? Like, why not? Um. Ooh, don't act into the. the paladin. Let's see how this works. Uh, the songs aren't terribly relevant given how, um. The thieves, or at least, I think Donak might have worn off on both the thieves by now, and there's a stop. Yeah, Donak has worn off. I mean, we're signed for like what, 50, 60, 70. Ugh, it's a lot. Um, so, this does. It's kind of a bad matchup for, for Otabo, even though um, Rex's team isn't super high offense. Because, again, I'm not sure how durable. Otabo's team is in blind rage. It hits! There's Berserk! Um, Fuse Blade still hits easily hard though, it was like 200 damage maybe? Oh, 120, oh right, 40 Fury. Never mind. <laughs> Blind Berserk is excellent in this matchup. Enough for There's a jump, there we go, look at that, 262 damage. So much damage. Um, I feel like I interrupted myself with a thought earlier because of stuff that happened. Oh well, more status, I mean it's... 
Yeah, we're just seeing this very status heavy, just trying to cripple you and then have that Geomancer pound away. Um, but... But what? What did say? It, it feels too slow to effectively handle people, I, but I don't know, I mean, there's... The canvas does have the Ramana gun, so she can hopefully don't act from a long range away, and then... I don't know, I just feel like all the offense on one unit, relying on that Geomancer, is just kind of a problem. And now he's charmed! That's bad! Although, or Oracle can... It'll be some combination of staff, staff lag, or a Suna to get rid of it. And was that the first quickening? I don't remember if they used quickening earlier. And that's pretty cool, a counter flood. You can no longer hurt allies with it. Pretty nice. Counter flood is like a very safe reaction now in that regard. No friendly fire. Yeah, I, I don't know why he's like it's really upsetting that the Geomancer is only using elemental instead of jumps, especially since the thieves are slow. I mean, they are they are stuck in place for the most part. He can jump no problem. It's I mean, even with the seven CT jump, because Geomancer only has eight speed. I mean, he can get it off no problem against the thieves. It's I don't know how many. Qu yeah, that the female thief hasn't used a single quickening yet. Um, the thief has used two, so he's at an effective six speed. So this is, the gym has plenty of time to use jump. And look at what we've done by giving him elemental. He's not doing any of that. It's sad. And at eighty, at eight MA now. So he's just—he's just doing element. The thief just went. He has all the time in the world to jump on her. All the time in the world, and he's not doing any of that. It's distra its it makes me sad. Um, yeah, that said, due to the very low offense of this team, this could take a while. Between late game oriented, and in some ways both teams are late game oriented, maybe? Maybe just because, like, some, you know, some combination of status to, like, really make things, really make life difficult for the opponent from this team. But, yeah, it does not help that the GMS is just poking away with 64 damage elementals. Oh, this looks like a spear stab though, and oh, big crit to sort of make up for it, except she would have died anyways. We're trying to continue to be annoying. Chemist probably just gonna keep anti, keep shooting down that thief. <laughs> so it's a. So we can just forget about those two. And that thief's just gonna quickening, and then. Uh, Chemist's gonna shoot him down. Oh well, maybe because flee a lot of movement. We shall see what happens. And now the comes as two targets to pick to pick up. In the meantime, yes, as I mentioned, not terribly high offense on for Max's team, so Wathalo's team can, in theory, do its job of just like slowly crippling them. Maybe, maybe. Oh, is that a jump? That's a jump. There we go. And oh, quick. <laughs> quick into quickening. That's cute. I'm not sure what else to say. Um, they're I guess the major witch hunt has done his job. They're out of MP. Um. Yeah, I don't know how. And oh, the monk is is undead, so the Murasame hurts her. That's funny. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. Like, if Otaba's opponent was could put more pressure on him, then I think. It, then I don't I don't think Otaba's team can can withstand a lot of pressure. Um, again, Phoenix Blade, so they're slow. Um, the thief certainly is not going to have enough of an impact. The female thief, not initially. So she's really counting on taking a lot of damage from MA save, and repeatedly, because of Phoenix Blade, so she keeps getting back up. But they've, they've no 
There's no real healing going on here. Um, so... Those thieves have been continuously and repeatedly picked off by Elemental or the, the Ramanda gun. And quickening all he wants, I mean, it's still take, gonna take him a while. He's, I mean, that thief is probably at 8, maybe 9 speed now. Um, Charm is definitely nice. But again, almost everyone has a way to get rid of Charm, like so. Um, and with the monk only hurting Disillusion, with only Disillusion in Witch Hunt, Sure, you'll be fine against you know, very heavily magic-oriented teams. You'll, you're taking care of basically all magic. All different kinds of magic, including, like, draw out. But what about physical? Physically damaged teams. And they hurt, they hurt too. And they can do a lot of damage. Yeah, they hurt. They can do a lot of damage. And, oh, there's a death sentence, uh, but it misses. And... There isn't enough healing, I mean, a hundred... And this... Yeah, she has gotten a few MA saves, which is nice. So she's starting to heal more. Um... Ah! Uh, screensaver. For me. Alright, the monk... Only has like a 55-some... Like six... Yeah, 50-ish HP chakra. The paladin only heal... His transfusion is only like 130-some. And right there, they don't- and those two are stuck there. They don't move, so if they're separated, which they're bound to be, they can't effectively heal each other. I mean, the- I think, Otapo, you're a little too reliant on getting enough MA saves for, uh, the, for your draw thief to be relevant in terms of actually either healing or damaging. Um, now, you, now you do have death sentence on the thief, and that- that's- is pretty handy. Um, but, I don't know, I don't know, I think, Otavo, your team just takes a little too long to get this game going. Now, of course, this match is going to go on for a while, so you might eventually just get there. Um, how long will this take, I wonder? Okay, which one's done his job? I mean, those two... The two mages are, are stuck. Uh, staff are stick poking away. Is that a jump? That's a jump! Big damage, 230. Right, you're- you're- You can definitely survive, you know, 30 HP pokes. 30 damage, just physical shots. That's- that's not a problem! <laughs> um... And now... Just some thoughts. And similarly for Rex, I mean, if your opponent could put more pressure on, I don't think your team could could stand, stand up to it either. I mean, especially as I've been going on and on, ooh, stop proc, that will help. But especially as I've been saying, the, the Geomancer just, it's a one-man, he's carrying your whole offense for the most part. Um, it'd also be good if the, if your Oracle would go for a zombie. As I would set up raise 2 and stuff, but... She has other stats that she can use. Yeah, yeah the Oracle does have- and the time is a zombie as well, so it's unfortunate. Like... I don't know. I think you do- you are sort of looking for a zombie into raise 2 stuffs. But... Now Death Sentence did land as well. Once the chemist stopped on the time got cured. Thief is don't act it again. Another paralyzed coming up. This looks like. Oh, that's another fun part about the whole magic song thing. Very high percent charm. 65%. That's a big number for Steel Heart. That's a big number. Wait, does that. Wait, that thief has. Unless well, there's some combat stuff going on. That thief has 15 MA then, but I think she only has 12, 13. I wish she might. Yeah, and I'm not commenting too much since this match is a bit slow. Quicksand, I think. I am somewhat tempted to make team with the two Phoenix Blades and two Curse Strings. That would certainly be very annoying. Um, I should try to do... I should try to make a defensive-oriented team. Because those are hard, and I'm very bad at them. So it would be good for me.
like props to shout out to like Raven Wiz for their defensive teams. It's cause yeah, I I'm horrible at them. <laughs> I might have tried a couple times, just, no, no, they're they're failures. Absolute failures. In the meantime, the thing is has a decent amount of speed now. He does move me up, he has quickening. His his effective speed. I'm curious to check, but I don't want to like stop. Pause the game again. Um. Oh yeah, that's another thing. The Rex, your Oracle, should probably have Octagon Rod. Cause that two MA isn't going to be terribly relevant. I mean, possibly for Cure Two and possibly for Dia, I guess. Um, but Frog Proc. Frog Proc, that's relevant. And the thief doesn't need a 15 MA. Yeah, Frog Proc, that's that's very relevant. A lot more relevant than like a 60 some damage Dia, or. I mean, it's like 20 HP lost on Cure 2, I don't know. I know, those are just some thoughts. Again, like, your chemist with Romana Gun, she's... That's your anti-Phoenix down. That's your anti-Phoenix... That's your anti... Um, anti-sandbag. Anyway, look how handy a frog punk would be here. Assuming... I'm pretty sure that um, Paladin would be susceptible to frog. Um... And you're also, even with that extra 2 you're not healing enough with Cure 2 for it to be super real. I, I don't know. I don't know. Again, just my opinion. That sound is another Geomancer. And did he just not do anything? Is he don't act it? He might have been. I just can't see. I don't, I don't know. That would make sense, because otherwise he would have done something. <laughs> right, look at how many pokes the Oracle has gone for. At least 10, I think. That, there might have been a frog proc somewhere. Of course, there might also have been a reverse frog proc, which would be, which would be quite hilarious, but... <laughs> um... Anyway, since Rex's team can't, I don't think Rex's team can kill Otavo's team, which means Otavo will, I feel like Otavo will eventually win between, I mean, the, the Thief has a relevant amount of MA now, like 16-ish, and the Thief can, has death sentence, and quickening, and the late game favors Otavo a lot more than Rex, and it's definitely going to late game. I am semi tempted to speed up if I remember how to do that. My keyboard. I have like a newish keyboard or something. I haven't done the speed up feature yet. Maybe for round two, if we get to something like this. And stop rock. Does dance work on. No, it said miss. Because dance doesn't work on sleeping units. It will say guarded, I believe. But it said miss. So I guess stop units can still, will still be affected by dance. Fun fact, if you stop a unit that's charging a spell, um, they're still charging. Um, but it, it's, they're, like, the remaining clock text or whatever, it's, it's all frozen. So, like, in, um, in vanilla, when there was, when you'd get, when physical attacks would, um, do more damage to charging units, you can stop someone, you can stop someone that's charging and get a lot of free damage in. Which I thought was pretty neat. In the meantime... Quickening and stuff's related to that. Uh, oh, Geomancer is dead and separated. This is a problem, because once that Geomancer downs, there really is no hope of Rex winning. Um, Rex, I don't remember what... You mentioned you remade Polaris. I believe she was a samurai beforehand. I might have watched like one match of social stasis before. But I don't remember Polaris' build. I could probably look around if I wanted to, but I'm, but I'm lazy. But if she could do more damage, that would be good. And Rod's just pretty nice. That really is nice. Oh, right. I mean, Disillusion might have lowered. Uh, the Oracle's MA a lot as well for Cure Spells, which, again, I, well... I am rambling. I'm rambling. 
poison more off on the Geo Mimic. <laughs> That's uh, the chemist might be able to get there, especially now that she's hasted. Um. Mm, everyone on Rex's team has nine speed, except for the Geomancer. Is there something relevant about that? I'm not sure. But here's a death sentence, and it hits. Uh, the Geomancer is definitely gone now. Yeah, funny that I said this was a bad matchup for Otabo. Like, again, I'm very bad at, at knowing, at seeing how things play out in game. But, I, I did mention that Rexina had low damage up, so, like, why am I surprised? I don't know. In the meantime, curtain heal. In case the mic caught any of that, it's just my friend just coming in, stuff and stuff and stuff. In the meantime, not much has changed. Well, there are two Death Sentence units now, so yes. Well, Tapa wins, eventually. Um, one will poof, and then the Chemist will poof, I'm pretty sure. Um, I believe the Chemist had a Chantage, but if Death Sentence does indeed cancel re-raise now, then wow, that's pretty big. In the meantime, Sleep snags two units, one of which was Rex's zone. And then draw just kills her anyway. Yeah. Chemist. Wouldn't drop after this. The thief can probably. Wait, the thief is sleeping, never mind. The thief could, in theory, thief. Uh, sword Black, the Oracle dead again. Ooh, last song for quick. And it does quick. Again, be cool if uh, the Paladin used last song a bit more. Just cause... And oh. And now, it's just the chemist, and Otabo wins. Like so. Alright, that was round one. Let's see what happens in round two. Alright, here we go for round two, on map 92. So, uh, judging by what happened last game, there's a pretty good chance that Otabo will take this round as well, though it is a, definitely a smaller map. And we'll see if that means the Geomancer will be will do more poking and less elementaling. Yeah, I mean if he does, then Rex could definitely send this to game three. So we shall see how this happens. Um, you know, Zygo Swamp obviously with the movement, water, and what bigger map took longer for everyone to get into action, for everyone to get in range. And yeah, uh, with the chemists being able to throw high potions as well or explosions. Um, but no, the uh, Geomancer still going for. Uh, elemental and Berserk! Berserk hits! That's actually pretty relevant. Um, Thief is slow and not gonna be doing much damage with it. It's actually pretty... pretty. It's actually pretty good. Black Hill Misses. Now what is the time mage going for? It looks like it's gonna be a, a redirect, probably. Berserk units can use reactions now. That is a nice change. That's that's something worth considering. It's a stop. On to the Paladin. GMS are still going for elemental. Um, yeah, Rex, you have to get rid of that. That's just it's it, it's not good at all. Um. Okay, now that well now, now that monks down, no witch hunts, which means more status spells. All right, which means Rex seems he's more status spells, which is what he wants to do. And all right, don't act it. So one unit is berserked, one unit is don't action, one unit is stop. That's right where he wants to be. And a spear poke, that's also what Rex wants. More status spells. Again, the thieves being slow gives them a lot of 
gives Rex all the time in the world he wants to do whatever he wants, basically. And now begin some gunshots. Uh, no one on uh, Otavo's team can can do anything at the moment. And and now the uh, Paladin's done, actually, just in time. Is that a jump? Nope, that's not a jump. That's a Kamaitachi. Ugh. Now it's slow too, so everyone on Otavo's team is slow. Another Berserk incoming. Um, Monk is gonna get get back up soon. And Blind Rage, it hits! And that is the nice thing about Berserk. I mean, for against a non-physical unit, Berserk does good things. Because they're non-physical, that means they're probably like a support unit. Um, or even some other annoying, like, pretty solid skill. And that stops all that and makes them useless and stupid. Which is great. That is the power of Berserk. Haste wears off now. And raise two hits. So Monk is down again. Berserk Thief does decent damage, but not shouldn't be enough. Um, the Geomancer's move HP up as well. And looks like a haste two on everyone. Boom. So haste is back up and spear pokes hurt a lot. Magic song. Yeah. Chemist gunshot. Gunshot for thirty-three and kind of flood. Um, I believe it is it. I. Is it oil or sleep rocks from Demon Fire? I don't remember anymore. I have not used Elemental in a while. And the quickening begins! Um, G-Mans are going for- oh, Common Touch of Brandon's Sandbag. So, there's gonna be a quickening loop there. Yo, Thieves gonna get back, use quickening, and someone on X team is gonna shoot him down again. In the meantime, giving everyone high, eth high ethers, high ethers, and more status spells going on. Like again, like with no real offensive capability. If all you're doing is throwing statuses, you're just like, it's like you're stalling. And when you don't land a status, that's a big problem for you. Um, yeah, the Geomancer only has eight speed, so he's not. He hits hard, but he doesn't hit nearly off enough. And if he's not using the spear pokes or jumping, well, it's just, it's just awful. It's just awful. Um, yeah, I am being a bit of a jerk right now, but like, eh. Um, it makes sense. Yeah, that's my only defense for being a jerk. Um. A poke. Monk is back up. Chakra. Looks to be a slow too. Like so. And snacks both of them, so everyone is slow. I'm slow too. Very good spell. Slows. I. I slow too is better than stop. Um. Better AoE. Better accuracy. It's faster. Slow lasts longer than. And slows last longer than stop. Um. And slow, honestly, it's, it's it's really useful. Like, look how long it takes them to get a turn. It takes forever. It takes forever. Okay. Um. Do you fire procs oil? And because it takes so long for them to get a turn, that's a lot more. I mean, you can just do so much while they're slowed, and they just can't recover. They can't recover because it takes them so long to get their next turn. So yes, Rex definitely is looking a lot better than last round. Um, more demon fire. I guess we're the oil, even though she's already big to fire. Pretty cute. And haste too, and paralyze. Okay, so thieves paralyze. More witch hunt on the way though. Uh, Rex is major getting low on MP again. Comes most likely going to either high ether or shoot someone. We shall see what happens. 
more stamina just feels enough to bring the thief out of um, Romano gun range. Goes for a shot anyway. Remember this game? <laughs> the 20 damage pokes, the 30 damage pokes. Um, I actually don't that mean that in a condescending vo way, even though it might have sounded like my voice was. But there's a jump. Yeah, AI is... Sometimes AI is good, but... And the best part of the AI using jump is that they'll use it to avoid spells and redirect them. That's definitely the best part. After that, it's kind of meh, because, like, they spend a lot of time wasting actions. Um, if people remember Raven's uh, Playground Pioneers, or if you've had multiple jumps, multiple units with jump, you'll have noticed yourself that, like, they'll jump on the same target, which is a waste, usually, if only one is going to kill them, or, like, they'll jump on someone which will be enough to kill, and then another unit kills said unit, so their jump is wasted. Like, they aren't great. Also, I mean, this match, right, the Geomans are just going for Elemental instead. Uh, <laughs> that Thief is Berserk, though, so he's, again, going to be very useless, but he's probably going to die now. Oh no, Demon Fire first over here. Orion going for slow two. Good move. We got 75% accuracy even on a 40 faith unit. Those are good odds. Those are good odds. And it's enemy only too. Like slow is slow is really good. Slow is really good. Slow two. I mean. And stop, I just find it to be way too inaccurate for my liking. Looks like a cure too. But first a witch hunt. Pretty sure the Oracle will still have enough MP. Pretty is nice and cheap. Just 10 MP, I think? Something like that. Polaris. Arm aim. Hits. Like that's a that's a nice combination to have. A don't act and berserk unit. That's what you want. Because they're just they're just gonna like hug you, like, all the time. They're just gonna run up to you and hug you and just stay there. They're just gonna cling cling to you. <laughs> um Oracle's low, low in MP? Yeah, out of, Oracle's out of MP. Um, Time Mage had a high 8 there, so he has some MP still. Ah, uh, screen saver, so I didn't see what just happened. Oh, Murasami just happened. Um... I'm not sure... What's gonna happen? see about Phoenix Blades always re raise it's just like, you know, your guy will keep coming back, and if you can survive long enough, then like, as Otavo seems is doing now, it's... <laughs> you just won't die. <laughs> um, in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm very, very good at stating the obvious. That's like... It's a special skill I put on my resume, even. Okay, no, I obviously don't. Um, Kamaitachi hits three units, pretty good. Everyone's still nice and healthy on this team. Oracle, alright, Oracle has no MP for the raise two. That's why she's useless. We're not doing anything. And which one eats it all up again? Alright, so it looks like Otabo is... He's coming back. He's he's coming back, and now the um, Geomans are charmed as well. Um, I th I think Otapo has weathered the storm. Not weathered the storm. Wrong team, unfortunately. But yeah, um, I think it would just be another slow grind. I don't know what else to say. That song lands a quick. Quick is good. Oh, 
quick wasn't that great there, given Thief just waited. <laughs> um, incoming slow too. Oh, here's a... What is she going for? Is that a cure? Is that a cure too? It is. Yeah, the AI, um, can't read, like, I don't, I'm pretty sure the AI does not recognize they'll have, like, move MP up. Because you haven't had enough MP for a raise too, but you didn't do it. And, like, the thief that just died, um, if he moved, he would have had enough MP for a quickening, but they don't. But he didn't, rather. Oh, there's a jump. There we go. Good Geomancer. Good Geomancer. He's two incoming. One thief dying, another thief not getting berserk, magic song. Unfortunate, because uh, the female thief is the one you want. Uh, Otaba wants the magic song to hit, primarily. Our name, don't ask the paladin. Thief is back, Murasame, at 10 MA now. Which hunt continue to be very annoying? An elemental. And oh, a don't act. Oh, well, don't act gets refreshed onto the paladin. So it does nothing, which hunt needs to do its thing. There's quickening, and then run to the other corner. Slow wears off. Slow gets refreshed. Slow does not get refreshed. Staff lock. Stigma magic. Oh, that's pretty nice. Is the song gonna go off soon? Yes! Oh, well, misses the thief again. Unf a bit unfortunate for Otavo. I think I'm very fine with Magic Song and Battle Song staying at 66% hit rate. Oh, I mean, it's not like they. those, like, teams with those songs, like, dominate or anything. It's nice to get the MA and. it's nice to get the damage boosts. Um. I mean. the. MA and PA dance songs are at their current hit rates because of Raven's Why You So Derp. Do we want to change that? Do we want to change that? I could, in some ways, see an argument for raising a Poke Poke and Dissolution, given that defense, I believe defensive teams are weaker than offensive teams? Maybe? Maybe? Or, I don't know. Honestly, the, the hit rates for song and dance are fine. Um, I do think last song should go up to 50%. Um, because I, I, I probably said this in a post, but like last song, you you're trying to click one of your non last song units, like the non singer. So you only have three units to do that, and like with the and you're expected to at least click one unit, but you don't want to click your the singer because that that just really does nothing. So fifty percent. It could be a bit explosive, I don't know, but that could be fun. It could be fun, it could make for some pretty exciting times. Um, but I, I feel... Uh, at the very least 40%, I guess, for last song. I think 50 would be fine. I mean, it was at 50, then I don't remember it going down, I don't remember why it went down to 34%. Um, yeah. This is also a nice use of magic song, just boosting the hit rates of the skills. Not even necessarily for damage. Alright, that's another nice thing. And you want those high hit rates so you can affect reliably um, boost their stats. Jump? Now he's jumping. Now he's jumping. Took him long enough. Boing. Ooh, very 
these two. That could be, this could definitely be relevant. If it hits, 60% chance, it misses, it misses. Unimportant for Rex. He's, he needs every bit of help he can get to win. Um, this is... It's, it's, things are definitely in Otavo's favor. I mean, no, it almost always was, but like, on this small map, like, in the... Like the monk got brought down twice pretty early on, pretty quickly, and two sleeps, including the one unit with Isuna, although there are Staff Wax and Maiden's Kisses for that, I believe. Still, though. I don't have any good ideas for Wiznibus, but I do think it should be changed somehow. This was the whole damage thing, it's just not good. As people said, auto potion and the saves and even each restore all are easily triggered courtesy of Wiznibus. And like, it's at 6 CT because it was at 4 CT per thing before, but then combined with dances, it was just a pretty overwhelming amount of damage getting put, getting spit out. Um, then again, auto potion wasn't as good as back then. The auto potion only healed 50. And it's... But auto potion would have countered it pretty well. Like, even, auto, even the weaker auto potion. Mmm... I want to see more people's thoughts on the whole, like, you know, the life song and Nameless Dance coming together. It's only like, it's like this, it's like the same few people talking in the balance, stat, balance uh, discussion thread. I mean, we need ideas, guys. <laughs> Contribute. I mean, maybe you have bad ideas. That's fine. We all have bad ideas. Um, just having ideas is, is good. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's like me randomly Gagnon every now and then, Doku, and of course the damned with his long posts every time. Um, uh, screensaver again. I really don't know what to say. It looks like Otava's team is st starting to go on the offense with black males, and yeah, both the thieves are not in critical. Um, Monk is down, but who cares? She'll be back up at some point. Paladin singing away. Rex's team can't kill anyone. We well, can't put him down for good, anyways. And so, of course, part of that is due to a uh, Phoenix Blade. Um, and maybe, maybe Rex, your team would fare better against like a non-super grindy late game style team. I don't know. I don't know. But it does feel like you don't have enough offense. That is what it feels like. I'm just going about the daily business. Oracle Time Age. Throwing out status spells. Paladin singing. Geomancer. Poking! Good! Um, monk dancing when she's not dead. Anytime quickening. Yeah, the thief's actually quickening quite a lot now. He is. Yeah, he is actually pretty fast now. He probably has 10 to 12 effective speed, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I don't actually know, but just based on. The turn order said he's like, he should be coming back soon. Um, magic song. Oh, got the got the um the thief the female thief is what he wanted. There's another quickening, another move. 
Um, the Paladin Monk are slowed though, that is good. Oh, Thief Stone acted. Demon Thief. Another Demon Fire. Disillusion sort of putting a dent in like, the amount of damage. And oh, Tetsu to heal? Nice! Uh, that Thief definitely has a solid bit of MA now. Paladin goes for a nurse as well, even though he's in absolutely no danger of dying. Uh, AI really seems to like the nurse. They use it really frequently, even if they've only taken like 40, 50 damage, it looks like. Um, as well, of course, they'll do it to open to get themselves regen. It's interesting. I'm not, I don't know if I want. Do I want? Is nurse worth playing around with? Probably. It's pretty decent. And oh, very soon is again. Not good for Rex. But honestly, in this match, like, what what can he honestly do? He can't put anyone down. So they'll just get, eventually get back, and eventually do their thing. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know what I can say to try and make this more entertaining for you guys. Um. And, I mean, just... At, at some point, it's <laughs> it's a super grindy like it's just a super long game. No auto potion, so the thief gets to go down again, but it doesn't matter because he's just gonna get back up and quickening again. I get the feeling that Dan's gonna say something about quickening being like a terrible skill again as a result of this match. Ooh, Bracer! So now the Dream Master does less damage, even though. Or no, that was the church. Which is never a real thing to begin with. <laughs> a not super relevant item, I mean. Oh, stop, misses. Two, two hits, of course. Thief, quickings again. Yeah, he's definitely getting nice and fast. Hmm, <laughs> cute dude. Always fun seeing... Um, like undead, like... Stuff and stuff. Whoa, that's... That's 192? That does not seem... Wait... That doesn't seem... Well, there has been a lot of magic songs, actually, which helps counter flood. That's another interaction I missed. And along with the weakness from oil, that makes a lot of- that damage is actually really reasonable, as well as the Oracle and Time Mage being very anti-magic. Um, huh. That's neat. Palm didn't stop though, so now they can poke away. LeBlanc not nearly as fast as the other- as the male thief. But there is a jump, and that will kill her. Like, if only the Geomancer was doing this, was jumping the whole time. That was the only thing he did. It definitely would have been a better shot. Um, the other nice thing about Phoenix Way is that it serves as a wonderful distraction. Look at how many times uh, Rex's team has... Look at how many, yeah, look at how many times, how many turns wasted Rex's team has spent focusing down the thieves, and not the actual problems. Um, the monk and the, uh, paladin. Of course the monk is cursed ring, so she'll eventually get back up. Um. Yeah, Thief is 18 MA now. And I believe they only, she only started with 5 or 6 probably, so. She's gonna actually do relevant amounts of damage. She's, yeah, she's starting to do 
good amounts of damage with um Kotetsu. Also really nice there's the whole um with Curse Ring and the male thief also having black or uh, black costume. Kodatsu, you know, hurt and heal, etc. I say that a lot. Don't have a better term for that. More slow two incoming. I mean, slow two is great if you can take advantage of it. And Rex, your team can't. So here we are. Flea is an interesting movement skill. So if you actually want to take advantage of it, then it's like it's not ideal for them to give someone with flea like a way to heal themselves because air will heal themselves and then run and then if they heal themselves enough they're not in critical anymore so they don't get the flea movement bonus. Um, that's interesting. That's interesting. Something when you sort of have to like really think about how to use, or just stick it on and hope it is relevant. <laughs> Which is probably the way I do it, because I am lazy, as I frequently say. Because it's true. Paralyzed redirect. He gets the time mage himself, and gets the- wow, so that just backfired horribly for Rex. Paralyzed the, the two units on his team, and not the one on Otava's. Though I am just of the very- of the mindset that just nothing Rex does really is going to change the outcome of this. <laughs> and more speed! I wonder how much speed he has. Ooh, last song! Quick, oh, quick hits! Nice, nice, nice. It's it's just nice, like... like last song is, of course, at its best when your unit is just finished with the turn, and then quick hits for, you know, maximum T boosting, etc. Um, and yeah, another example of the whole AI not realizing it does move MP up, because the thief definitely had MP for quick after he moved, but he moved and then just did not. Oh, AI. You silly thing. But this is what we have to work with, so. Just keep that in mind. Screen save everything happened again, but of course I didn't really miss anything. Um, again, going for a poke and not a jump. The monk just went as well. Monk only has 10 speed, I think. Maybe 11, but I'm pretty sure only 10. So like, uh... AI, you just make me so sad. Seal heart misses. We'll get there, guys. Hang in there. <laughs> Hang in there. I guess I'm really just talking to myself. Because you guys can skip around as you want. Um, there definitely will not be any post-game commentary. I mean, I've said everything I needed to, because the pace of this match was slow enough that I can just say things and not actually miss anything. Last song! That's a couple of quicks. Thief? Oh, it goes for a pet sentence. There we go. Thief being a bit more aggressive. Otabo on the aggro plan now. Kind of. Kind of. Not really. But that sense does a very aggressive move from the male thief, anyways, given that all he really does is quickening and etc. Like so! He's gonna run off to one of the corners, probably. Yeah, I likes corners. <laughs> A 
and mimic Darvon. <laughs> it looked like did the paladin say was that guarded? If so, paladin has some sort of clip that lets him guard it, maybe, or I I don't know what I'm talking about. Probably that's probably what's going on here. And okay, that along with the thing, unless steel hard hit. Oh, well, a lot of charms miss, but not too relevant. Oh, never mind. The I thought the gunshot plus cure two would kill the uh, the monk, but she got a turn just in time. Sorry, Chaka. The Blanc looks like a Kotetsu. The snag, yeah, snags the thief as well. Very nice. And charm, it hits. Yeah, that thief is that thief is nine M now, so solid boosts in. Talk skill and charm hit rates. Snags everyone relevant. Yeah, actually, especially with the paladin since he has counterfold. Yeah, that was everyone relevant. Mimic Dharma misses. Just shy of 50% now, that thief. Or no, 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 he's actually at 50 now, I think. 50% chance with the Mimic Dharma, because you have 10 with 10 MA. <laughs> that sentence misses. Paralyzed. Gets time age. Does not get a thief. And gets a chemist. It happened again. The friendly fire. And that's with a short charge, too, I believe. Again, very unfortunate. That sleeping man's are just gonna stay there for. He's just gonna sleep for a long time, isn't he? Cass will get back from re-raise, but not for long. I mean, we're, okay, she is going to get back from re-raise, but that is it. I believe the monk's still doing which yeah, which hunt. 144 damage. Is that courtesy of oil? That would make sense, actually. Um, I know this solution. That actually makes more sense given that this one takes longer. Then which hunt twice as long, I think. Down goes the oracle. It begins. Otabo's takeover. Muramasa for 108. The shell. Shell like hurts. Shell gimstrats so much. Like, damage goes, like, much like the stone gun. Like, a hit from stone gun without protect hurts. With protect, manageable. Same thing with drought and shell. 108, very, not, not painful. Not nearly as painful as, like, almost 180, as, like, 180 or something like that. 162, maybe. Yeah, 162 is normal damage. Or something like that. Chakra. There are some witch hunts. Ooh, last log! It quicks the thief who just went. Oh, but he's don't acted. Haha. -ha. Like. Like, things that happen in this match just don't. They just don't matter, it feels like. Right? Who cares if the thief's don't acted? He's not gonna die. Um. Yeah, top is definitely on the offense now. There's a death sentence. So one unit down. Chemist is gonna will go down eventually. And then after that, and those two are the ones that can raise, that can revive. Thief gets another point of MA. Solid damage and <laughs> demon fire to heal. Whoopsies. Lars has one last turn for a phoenix down on someone, I'm guessing. Logos, fast enough. Right, yeah, Logos, he's like 15, 16, maybe more effective speed. There's so many quickenings, and oh! A scooch in two, doing its job. Locking the draw out. So Nuadaya stays alive for another turn. To really just give the thief another point of MA. What's going to happen? Oh, is that a charm? Oh, it's a Mimic Darvon. And it snags the Geomancer. So what is the chemist going to do with her last turn? She wisely revives the Oracle, but seeing how she has no, the Oracle has no MP, 
She can't do anything. She can't revive. So? Yep. Here's Otabo's victory lap, more or less. There goes one. Chemist will fall soon. Oracle and Time Mage are just critical in the corner, can't do anything, aren't going to do anything. Blackmail, just for fun. Thieves being sadistic now. Yeah, it does seem to really like its status. Oh, Kotetsu! There we go! Alright! Otabo takes it! Thanks for watching!